All right. So what's the catch? There's no catch. You see, I'm not very well liked here for a completely unknown reason. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Does this place have a name or something? Ah, sure. It's called Whateverland. Whatever. What? Whateverland! I'm way too scared of these things. If anyone asks, it's a pass for me. Did he just... Yeah, he did. We should help him. Um, sure. Why not? His shack is right under the bridge. Ah, oh, my dear Francois, when are you going to give up trying? Go down. Thanks for the tip. I get sad just looking at him. For some reason, looking at fire always made me nervous. Was he poisoning the rats, or...? I'll find use for you. A rifle on the wall. Let's hope it never goes off on its own. Does that really happen? I don't know. Just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. I should probably get used to it. Was there a parrot? Or a cannery? Or maybe even a goldfinch? Someone has a nice taste in books. Someone has a nice taste in books. Was he poisoning the rats or... Was he poisoning the rats or... I get sad just looking at him. For some reason, looking at fire always made me nervous.
go right, I'd never guess. I need to check if that guy is alive first. The Arabesque Bar. I hope they have alcohol-free options. I need to check if that guy is alive first. Hello. I just saw you jump from that bridge. So? I mean, you're alive. Oh, you're new here, right? No one can die in whatever land. Sadly. Really? I already told you nobody can die here. Were you even listening? Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. It's just not every day that people jump off bridges right in front of me. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I wouldn't be so sure. Actually, Nick has a point. After a couple hundred years, you get used to the craziest things. A failed suicide will seem trivial soon enough. So, are you okay? Is anyone? Wait, don't answer. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. Sounded way better in my head. I always say stupid things like that. Anyway, it depends on what you mean by okay. Physically, I'm more than okay. Which honestly sucks. And if you're asking about my mental state, I don't think I was ever okay to begin with. <sighs> Some people just aren't made for happiness, I suppose. Have you tried to stop feeling sorry for yourself and just be happy with what you have? I see. If you knew what I was talking about, you wouldn't be so ignorant. Sorry, but I'm not going to try to prove anything to you right now. I've given that up long ago. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Take care. Nick, there you are. I haven't seen you in weeks. Did you miss me? <laughs> you wish. Who's that with you? This is Vincent. He just got here, so don't mind this whole lost puppy look. Vincent, meet Fida, the owner of this place and the most charming lady in whatever land. Charmed. I'm sure I don't look like a lost puppy, Nick. <laughs> you do, actually. But not like a sad, beaten dog. At least your face doesn't make me want to adopt you. <laughs> right, but I quite like this low-key, angry puppy look. You could say I already adopted him. No, you didn't. I'm not a dog. Yet. If you don't mind, I'll leave you to discuss your relationship alone. I have other customers. The ones that actually pay. Don't think I forgot that you owe me, Nick. But they're not your favorites, are they? <sighs> Vincent, let's get to the table, shall we? Mm hmm Wait! 
Stop! What do you think you're doing? If I see a bug, I instantly want to swat it. Is that a problem? You really need to get a hold of yourself, Vincent. These are the book ashes. A long time ago, they built this fancy prison for us. But we're friends now, and these particular ones have chosen you. Have chosen me? You heard me. They are your team now. Judging by the look on your face, you're not a teamwork kind of guy. But don't fret, they're professionals. Professionals at what? At playing Bell and Bones, obviously. You could say that it's a game we play here, but it's not just a game. It's an essential part of any whatever Lander's daily existence. Here, let me show you.
By the way, here's the city map. You certainly need it more than I do. But how are we going to find the pieces of that spell you mentioned? Easy! There are seven pieces total. So, we need to convince seven, or rather eight, people to give their piece to us. That's it. And you know who these people are? Vincent, who do you think I am? I wouldn't have asked for your help if I didn't know where to look. Let's see. We have Van, the twins, Umaru-san, Alan, Oswald, Lewis, and of course, Ernest. I marked the places where they usually hang out on your map. What can you tell me about Van? Oh, he's a handful. A bored Russian aristocrat who is so lazy that he cannot even scratch his noble nose. I'm sure you will love him. Oh, definitely. So who are the twins, exactly? Lily and Rose are a weird duo. One is an engineer, the other is an actress. They really despise each other. And it's not clear which sister envies the other one more. I'm sure we'll have so much fun with that one. Not one, but two crazy sisters? Sign me up. What can you tell me about Van? Oh, he's a handful. A bored Russian aristocrat who is so lazy that he cannot even scratch his noble nose. I'm sure you will love him. Oh, definitely. Tell me more about this Umaru-san. She's a mysterious one, I can tell you that. Always wears a mask that covers her mouth. Not sure if she's afraid to catch some kind of virus or just hiding something underneath. Maybe we'll find out. I hope not. What about Ellen? Ellen is the host of the local radio station. Nobody knows her very closely, but we definitely need to be extra careful with her. Why? <clears throat> she never leaves her studio, but somehow knows everything about all the Tavalanders. Cool, but creepy. Exactly. What about Ellen? Ellen is the host of the local radio station. Nobody knows her very closely, but we definitely need to be extra careful with her. Why? <clears throat> She never leaves her studio, but somehow knows everything about all the Tavalanders. Cool, but creepy. Exactly. What do you have on Oswald? Not much, apart from the fact that he breeds rabbits. I don't know how and why he does it, but there's that. Do you know anything about Lewis? Well, he's a jazz musician, and the ladies love him. I'm not sure if I admire the guy or hate him for it. Probably both. Is there something I need to know about Ernest? Unfortunately, yes. He's going to be the toughest cookie to crack. What's so special about him? Ernest is the ultimate Bell and Bones champion. I don't know if he's really that good or just a crook, but during his time here he has become very powerful. Think mob boss or a dictator. That's the kind of guy he is. Can't wait to meet him. Can you tell me more about Fida? Well, she's stunning, but I'm sure you noticed that already. She also makes a very mean margarita. Very mean. Other than that, you should ask her yourself. She doesn't bite most days. Do you come here often? Often? I practically live here. It's the best place to write, you know. Ah, all those miserable people drinking themselves into oblivion. So tragic, yet so beautiful. I draw so much inspiration from human anguish. All this drama when you could just have a drink. That's the difference between you and me, Vincent. I live and breathe drama, 
and you just want to be left alone with a glass in your hand. To each their own. All right, let's get going. Ready when you are. I might as well get used to this table. That's not the canteen you're used to, huh? I'll just assume it's red wine. I suck at cards. Guess I'll get lucky in love then. Or Bell and Bones. Works fine for me. Should I tell him? Nah. It's impressive how well she's adapted here. Ah, uh, yes. Fida is amazing. Do you need anything? How well do you know Nick? Mm, quite well. He can be very annoying, but I know he has a good heart. So, you better be good to him, or I'll make a kebab out of you. Don't worry, he's in good hands. Good. If he ever gets on your nerves, just ignore him. Works like a charm. Besides, I don't think you'd make a good kebab. Too skinny. You two realize that I can hear you, right? And I'm not annoying. Just calm down. No, you calm down. This is humiliating. Nick, you know we're just teasing, right? Yeah, right. Goodbye. Do you need anything? Goodbye. Oh, I love those. Aren't they too old for places like this? Is it weird keeping Nick's picture in here? Is it weird keeping Nick's picture in here?
Why arabesque? Oh, I think it has something to do with ballet. And Fida loves ballet. I get sad just looking at him. I get sad just looking at him. Oh, it's you. You say sorry a lot, don't you? Do I? Sorry about that. Oh. You don't have to apologize all the time. Yeah, I know. It just became a habit at some point. I used to think that it would make people feel better around me. That's really not how it works. <sighs> yeah, I figured that much. So, how did you end up here? I... I'm sorry, I'd rather not talk about it. I have to go. Okay. <laughs> 